Your Honor, we believe that Mr. Lee is playing so fast, he actually succeeded in breaking through the sound barrier. <laughs> <laughs> he wow. said, case dismissed. You're free to go, Mr. Lee. Wow. Okay, Ralph. How are you, Ralph? Oh, you'd believe a man could fly. <laughs> the way he has turned into the movie Superman. Okay, well, very good. You will believe a man can fly. Well, can you? You're, Close to you, it, yes. Well, you're a musician. Musicians fly, right? Yes, you know, there was a story surrounding me. Uh huh. One time I gave a charity concert. Oh, you did? And afterwards, these police officers approached me uh -huh. and told me how much they enjoyed the performance. Uh huh. But as sorry as they were to say so, they were there to apprehend me and arrest me. And I said, on what charge, officers? And they said, speeding. <laughs> I said, well, officers, I can assure you, there are even eyewitnesses who will attest to the fact that I was chauffeured here. I did not drive myself. <laughs> so well, we're aware of these facts, Mr. Lee. Nevertheless, you're under arrest for speeding. I said, well, officers, with all due regard, all due respect, if I did not even drive, uh-huh. And I was chauffeured here. How can you arrest me for speeding? Uh-huh. He said, well, Mr. Lee, you see some gray hairs on our heads, do, do you not? And I said, yes, sir. He said, we're up for retirement in the next two years. Uh -huh. We put in our 40 years, and that's all we're going to do. And in those 40 years, we've seen our fair share of phenomena uh -huh. after a sort. Uh -huh. He said, but in those 40 years, we've never seen anyone play that fast before. Really? Wow. <laughs> so you're like a concert? Like yes. you're, what kind, what kind of music? Like guitar? Yes. You you look like a guitarist. Yes. I wish I can show the audience your, 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 the way you look. You look, well, like, you look like a musician. Yes. They said I was playing so fast uh -huh. that I had to be arrested for speed. <laughs> <laughs> and so then I took out my comb and I said, El Comandante's received my sword, my submission, and my unconditional surrender. Uh -huh. And then the judge, uh -huh. who tried my case the following morning, uh -huh. threw the case out of court. Uh -huh. Because what happened is he insisted on knowing how fast I was playing. Uh -huh. And these police officers said, we're not certain, Your Honor. And he said, you dragged Mr. Lee in here on a charge of speed. He didn't even tell me. Uh -huh. How fast he was playing. Uh -huh. He said, well, he was playing, and all of a sudden there was an explosion uh -huh. on stage. And he said, oh, what happened? Did the amplifier explode? He said, no, Your Honor, we believe that Mr. Lee is playing so fast, he actually succeeded in breaking through the sound barrier. <laughs> <laughs> he wow. said, case dismissed. You're free to go, Mr. Lee. Wow. <laughs> you are quite the performer, I see. Oh, yes. So what what kind of music did you play so fast? Well, when I was, 16, so I was with both the musicians of James Brown and the Famous Flames. Oh, wow. And the Isley Brothers. And then a lot of local bands that were into psychedelic music. And then uh -huh. on and on it went. And finally, uh -huh. I ended up at uh, Kansas University, uh -huh. where I studied as a theater and voice major. Uh -huh. And... Uh, percussion minor mm -hmm. and the reason for this is because I decided if you all you can do is perform and play mm -hmm. you could be somebody but if you sing you have a lot of better chance of being somebody and then if you can act as well you're on your way up the ladder wow that's a that's a triple threat yes exactly wow so what kind of music do you all different kinds uh -huh. what is your like a preference yeah major thing oh i would say pop music is my first choice and pop covers, music yes that covers a lot of territory uh-huh what's a pop music like uh, what kind of music is pop music well it's uh, popular music oh okay it can be rock and roll music it can be even be soul music uh-huh but like, what whatever that's hot during that time you mean yes is that like a pop music but even in even in times past there was a lot of excellent music which came about and uh -huh. Even in a future tense, there's a lot of, ah, excellent music that comes about. It's just finding the best of mm -hmm. all music everywhere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And time is not so much a factor as the quality mm -hmm. of the performance and the songwriting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
I still side with this one great critic who wrote a book entitled Rock for the Ages. He had a chapter that was dedicated to to the Beatles. And he said, I believe they're geniuses. He said, as far as songwriting goes, they're probably at the top of their list and they'll never be forgotten for that reason alone. Mm -hmm. He said, but for all of this, I still did not like them. He said, they'll go on breaking records and uh, making history. It's just that in 20 to 25 years from now, I don't believe they'll have meant as much as Elvis Presley. Mm -hmm. And that was back. Can you do Elvis? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not an imitator, for God's sake. No. I am. <laughs> Are you really? No. It's not all never. I prefer surrender. That was my. Oh, favorite. surrender? Okay, I don't do surrender. <laughs> I can do a few uh, Elvis songs. Well, I but. did one by Conway Twitty entitled It's Only Make Believe. Uh -huh. And I remember the girl who was the uh, master of ceremonies threw her arms around me while I was singing. Wow. Yeah, that's where he did everything but go down on one knee. Really? Like Al Jolson, yes. That's, that's your prime time. Yes, they, they love those kind yeah. of ballads. Well, good, good news, Ralph. You got good bleeding going on because I was scraping the edges and it bled really well. That's a good sign that this is going to close nicely, okay? That's good to know. Yeah, so we keep doing it and I'm going to order some custom shoes that would take pressure off right. this area. I hope I'll have a high gloss too because I can appear to be y yes, James you need, Brown. Exactly. Well, I'll, I'll definitely request that, obviously, for the uh, prime, prime time star. We definitely need yes. a shiny shiny shoes so yes. so but it's it's great that it's uh, bleeding well so i think if we can get your diabetes under control and to get really nice shoes i think we should be able to heal yeah, this pretty quickly question i'm dying to ask uh, you. yes yes oh boy i'm not going to care for the answer but i'm already prepared for that uh -huh. eventuality why did it ever return in the first place i think yeah i think the bone's prominent over here because you don't have a lot of padding here yes. okay and then it tends to break down when there's an abnormal pressure in this area. Okay, that's why the shoe is going to be really important for you, okay? All right. I'm going to put some medicine here. All right. And I'm going to cover that up, and I'm going to keep cleaning next time. I think, I think it'd be really good. You'd be soaking in Epsom salt, which is going to kill all the bad stuff there. All right, that's good enough. And then we're going to accommodate the... the temporary shoes that I'm going to give you today and right. we'll go from there, okay? Well, I have to purchase my own Epsom salt? Yes, yes. Any groceries? Any, any CVS or any pharmacy would have them. All right. We'll give you an instruction sheet as well, okay? Yes. All right. Great, love. We'll see you uh, soon, okay? Yes. How soon would you like to see me? Next week. We're going to do this again. Oh, okay. All righty? Okay. 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 Thank you, Rob.